Ciao! My name is Franco and I'm an Italian filmmaker and director. I focus a lot on telling stories about artists and different cultures since I'm hungry, I'm curious about traveling and discovering and learning and I must, must have come to Istanbul. This is my first time. I must have come to Istanbul because this is the center of the world. This was the center of the world for centuries. Like in this place, this is where everything was happening. Ships were coming in, there is Asia, there is Europe, there is this. This is the place, you feel the energy and this is what I'm living for. Visiting this place and meeting the people of these places and telling their stories. talking about Istanbul right now because I haven't been around Turkey yet. Istanbul is incredible <laughs> European. The people that live here you can find people from all over Europe so you can speak in English, you can speak even in your language. I find people that are from my country here and other mixture of languages, Arab as well. But definitely this city is modern. The transportation is so modern and very effective. It works very well. So this makes me think I'm in Europe. Uh, the culture, the culture is so rich in culture, this place, as well as in the food. You can find different kind of food. You can, you can experience Turkish food as well as you can experience Italian food, all right? Right now we are in Taksim, which is the most touristic place here. You see, I like this place as much as I like very hidden streets and to meet the locals. Here maybe you don't see so many locals, but what I do and what I'm doing with my videos is not just interviewing artists, but trying to understand what they eat, what's the culture, how they walk, what do they see. Let me tell you, I'm in love with this place, Karakoy. I will never learn how to spell it, unfortunately. <laughs> but this, I feel it. You can feel the energy, you can feel how important is this place and was this place in the past. This is the center of the world. Asia, Europe, all my covers and ships coming in from a different country. You know, yeah. look at this place. <laughs> so the Facebook page is the big one. I have 164,000 followers. And, you know, I travel, I travel. Right now I was in Mexico. Right now I, I was in Mexico for one year, actually. I got stuck over there because of the pandemic. And all these characteristics, all these things make the person, the people, the Turkish people, the people that they are. So I'm very curious about it. I want to share this curiosity. I want to share this knowledge with Italians because basically what's important for me is with my camera to destroy stereotypes that people that don't travel or that are just used to see things on television or read newspapers are afraid of. We should not be afraid of this world. We should not be afraid of our friends, the Turks. We should not be afraid of any country. We should experience the world. And how do we do that? I start by asking to people, what makes you happy? How do you create your life? What are you doing? Here, you can feel at home in Turkey as much as you can feel in Italy. You can feel at home in every country as much as you can feel you feel at home in Italy or wherever you're from. I was born in Switzerland, but I'm Italian inside my bones because I was raised from Italian parents in a city close to Milan. It's called Varese. After Varese, I moved to Berlino, the beautiful Berlin, Germany where I lived for three years and a half and I studied German and graphic design. After high school, I didn't know what to study. I didn't really know, I didn't find my passion yet. So I thought the best way to <laughs> keep going in my life is to learn a language, another language. Languages are very useful. So then I went to Berlin, I studied, I studied graphic design, I learned German. And from Berlin, I, I got a scholarship and I moved to Australia. I moved to Australia, Eva! I went surfing, amazing place. I studied for a semester over there. And luckily, at this age, at 23 years old, I was very lucky to find my real passion, which is filmmaking. I never studied filmmaking, but I, I, gotta, I gotta do it, I gotta do it. So I quit the university, I saved some money, I was a waiter 
I was cleaning bathrooms for Airbnb and stuff like that. Saved some money, started to buy the first camera, taking a lot of movies, taking a lot of, sh uh, a lot of videos. I traveled to Indonesia and then I traveled to the United States and then boom, boom, boom. And I started slowly to build up the career, the portfolio. And here I am in Turkey today. After traveling to 35 countries all over the world, the last one was Mexico, Turkish people welcome you very well in their country and I believe it comes from being Muslim. I met, I traveled to many Muslim countries and the hospitality is always warm and they, their people are looking forward to showing you the culture and their culture, their food, their places, their home, here you're welcome. That's amazing, that's amazing, I have to say. Uh, compared to many countries in Europe, I felt way more welcome here than, for example, I have to say, to, to other countries, more developed countries, let's put it down that way, where people are not so much interested in, 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 in differences. Here, you can feel the differences and you can feel how people are interested in you as a different person coming to their countries and they want to show you what they have. Italiano a Istanbul, giorno numero 11. I turchi si vantano di avere la miglior cucina al mondo. The best! Sarò onesto, con questo dolce catmer, scenico. The best! Cremoso. The best! Pieno di pistacchio. The best! E coperto di gelato? <laughs> Lo devo ammettere, si avvicinano alla perfezione. E buona! Qui in Turchia è tutta un'altra storia. Nel Jezbe. Una tecnica vecchia 500 anni. La sabbia è bollente. La mano veloce. È denso. Una vera bomba. 